everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Katarina. Today's video is going to be an update for my 22 in 2022 project pan. I started this project in June so this is going to be the second update and I will be doing this project for six months so during the six months I will try to get these 22 products in this project finished. By the first update which was a month ago I finished one product and I actually do have three more empties to share with you. I'm actually pretty surprised about it. However, I did already share them in my July empties and purchases video. So if you did see that video, then you know the empties. But I'm really happy with the progress during the past month. I will be keeping this update a little bit shorter, so I'm not going to be talking about every single product in this project. Instead, I will talk about the empties other products that I do have some progress on and also I want to talk about a couple of products that I do really want to put some effort during the next month. So I want to go through these products in the order that I have listed them and introduced them in the intro video. So we're actually going to start with an empty. Surprisingly, I was able to finish the Elf Matte Putty Primer. I didn't really expect to be able to finish this during the past month because there was still quite a bit of product left in the last update, but now it is all gone. So yeah, that is the first empty. Let's talk about another surprise empty. I was able to finish the Balm Sexy Mama Powder. This one also I really didn't expect to be able to finish during the past month because I repressed this before the last update and after repressing, although it was a thin layer, there was powder all over the pan. So it looked that there is still a lot of product, but I guess it just wasn't that much. And another thing is that after repressing, it was way softer what it used to be. So it was way easier to pick to my brush. I was able to finish it. I am happy about that because this powder was from 2017. And while powder products do not expire as quickly as cream and liquid products, I don't want to have like a setting powder, like a face powder that old in my collection. Then let's talk about the cheek products I have in this project. Let me show you the cheek palette where I do have the products and I will show you where I was with this palette a month ago too. The products in this project are the bronzer, the blush here and the highlighter here. Now, as you can see, the bronzer is almost gone. It's going to be gone in a week or so. Every day that I use it now, I can see there being less and less product. The highlighter over here, I actually have not used during the past month, I think. I have done looks where this would not be my first choice, but I think I will need to step up my game a little bit with this one if I want it to be gone this year and I want it to be gone this year. And then a product that is in this project is this blush over here. Now you can see some pan showing here and there. Hi, so as you can see, my daughter is here with me right now. I decided to film during her nap and usually at this time of day, she takes a longer nap, but not today. But I do want to finish filming, so she will be here with me. Okay, so let's talk about the lip products in this project. I do have here the Gosh Velvet Touch Lip Liner in Nougat and then the Too Faced Natural Nude Lipstick in Birthday Suit. That is what I'm wearing today, but not with this lip liner. They go well together, but today I wanted to wear the Too Faced lipstick with a more rosy nude <laughs> lip liner to have kind of like a more rosy color on my lips. So I actually made really good progress with both of those. Pair. Where you can see one was the last update with the lip liner and the two is right now. Some, so some nice progress there. But look at the progress with the lipstick. I, I don't know what to think about that progress because, you know, well, I know I have been wearing the lipstick usually at least a couple of times a week or even more, but I used like maybe a third of what I have left in the last update. And I didn't think that I could be able to finish this lipstick this year, but seeing how much progress I made during the past month, and you know, I didn't force myself to wear the lipstick, I reached for it because I really wanted to. 
and I'm enjoying the color. And seeing how little bit there is left right now, I totally think I can finish this lipstick this year. I'm doing now also my lip, lip product rotation project or series, whatever you want to call it. I'm probably going to take a break from this lipstick in September, just do it for my other nudes. But for sure I will be back to using this one again in October and now I do have the whole August time to use it. So yeah, I am really pleased with the progress. I am surprised I was able to make this much progress, but I'm not complaining. This is an older lipstick. It is four years old at this point, so I do want to get it used up. Okay, then I was able to finish the Essence Color and Care Nail Polish in the shade Take a Break. That was like an ivory color. This one I already talked about in my July empties and purchases video. And this one, I actually wanted to finish by this update, so it was my goal to get this one done and it took probably like one manicure or two manicures to get it done after the last update. It was so low already. Okay, then I still want to quickly talk about a couple of products that I will be focusing on during the next month. So the e.l.f. lip product remover, whatever it is called. So I do have at the moment in my lip product rotation a couple of liquid lipsticks and this one is great for removing toes. But I never remember to use this, so I will make sure to use this every day that I use a liquid lipstick to remove it. And there's really not much product left here, so I hope I can get it used up by the next update. Then I do want to focus on this Dr. Botanicals overnight mask, whatever it is, a really overpriced skincare product, the lid of it broke, but thankfully there, there is like an inside lid there too, but that is how much I do have left and I would like this product to be out during the next couple of months, so by the next update I want to have at least half of this product gone, hopefully I can see the bottom well. I just want to use it up, especially now that the packaging is broken. By the way, here is the broken lid. I mean, that product costs over 100 euros and even the packaging is not good. Voi saada kultaa pari juttua vielä. Then I do want to focus on the feet stuff, so well, this orange packaging is actually a face scrub, but it is like Coffee and citrus oils face scrub. No way I'm putting it to my face. It's way too rough, but it is good for my feet. And then this green white tube is actually a food cream. So I do want to focus on these. I always forget about them. So during the next month, I do want to put some extra effort into them. We will be traveling to Greece in the end of September, beginning of October. So. I want my feet to be nice then. And yeah, those were really the only products I do want to talk about today. I'm sorry, I know this video was a rush to miss, but I didn't expect Sara to wake up so quickly. And I really wanted to get this video filmed today. I am already late in my filming schedule. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next one. Bye bye. Hey, bye.